there's a theme at Mathematica that I, I, I touch on uh, continuously about getting closer to the policymakers or getting closer to the decision makers. Mm -hmm. So just reminding people it's not enough to, to do great research. That research has to be influential. And we need to be in direct contact uh, with the policymakers in order to drive that influence. Um, what do you all see as the key gaps between, mm -hmm. on the one hand, the data, the data infrastructure, and the people who use the data, and the people ultimately that you want to influence? How do we, how, what are those gaps? What are the nature of those gaps, and how do we fill them? Uh, we, my team at Georgetown, we were really interested in this and set up something called an interbranch exchange because we recognize that the data people get data and they groan because it's messy or undocumented or it just, it's got data problems. And we are never in touch with the people on the ground responsible for capturing that data. And so we said, okay, well, we should get in touch with those folks that are running the food stamps programs or actually doing disaster relief or launching a paid leave program. Those were our three pilot areas. And it wasn't enough to have the people responsible for administering the programs, delivering the services, talking to us. We brought people from the Hill in. And we created this kind of unholy connection in a, in a room at Georgetown for each of those topics. And the people from the Hill, they were just stunned. They had no idea that the policies that they were responsible for writing were having some of these perverse implications in what was being collected, what was being validated. They were setting policies, determining what was being valued. And they had never thought of that. They, they were just like, we're just trying to get these services delivered. Uh, and then they were talking to the data people and hearing us talk about what we have to do and the ways that we are often blind to the bias in the data. We don't understand its provenance. We don't have any decent benchmarking. And those were very limited conversations but they were a necessary first step. And it was creating the connection there we thought was important, but we did three, you know? So how do you begin to force those conversations to happen? And they really needed to happen in a neutral space. You were never gonna get those other parties to come to the Hill. You were never going to get the Hill folks to go to where a disaster just happened. But it really, it was fascinating because each one of them brought in these different implications. Sometimes the way that data are coming into our systems is because of a ballot initiative or a policy. It depends on where the change was prompted and that directly impacted the capacity, the infrastructure, and ultimately the quality of data that they were bringing in. And if you weren't asking those questions where I'm sitting, like let's get some data and let's do some analysis, you are going to misuse that data. But what we thought was super exciting was to get the policymakers in the conversation and in some cases pointing out to them, in law, you said this, do you know the impact it had, showing them the perverse outcomes in the data collection mechanism. And they said, how do I change that? And some of the folks pulled, pulled language out of their back pocket and they said, we wish it read like this. Now that also is a position of privilege. The people that got invited are likely going to be the ones that get to improve the law. But it's, I don't know what the other mechanisms are. I would love to know how else we could get the conversations going and influence the sort of positive change we want. 